Okay, here I have the Movo WMIC 50. It's a wireless lapel microphone. In the US it goes for $109.95 and on the UK site it goes for $69.95, which is quite a bit of a difference in price. This is pretty much kind of your low-end, cheapy wireless lapel mic system. And we decided to give this a try because, well, we don't really have a lot of money on the show. To give you an idea, the last review we did on a wireless mic was the Boya uh, BYM6. And that goes for about 135 UK and 159 US. I think this company, Movo, is under the same umbrella as Boya because they actually have another model, the WMIC80, uh, which looks exactly like the Boya, literally exactly like it, except for it costs more. Uh, that one goes for 189 pounds and 199 US. So I don't know if there's something else going on there that get, causes it to cost a little more, but it looks exactly the same. So I have a feeling this is just kind of going to be a cheaper version of what we reviewed previously on the show. In the box, uh, we get our instructions. And the microphone, the little receiver and transmitters right out of the box they feel very cheap, like it feels like a cheap plastic. Um, the little back belt clip feels cheap. Um, dials, it's got an on, an off, and another option, which I think is like a noise reduction option maybe or something like that. I'll, I'll read the instructions to find out. Uh, your microphone and your headphone and a volume. Battery wise, it just clips on and off on the back. It takes two AA batteries. And the transmitter is basically the same. Sorry, this is the receiver. This is the transmitter. Receiver has a little clip, looks like so. If you want to attach it to the mount on your camera, you can. In the box, we also have a single earpiece headphone. Uh, jack to plug it into from the recorder into the camera. The lapel mic. This also looks exactly like the Boya one. Uh, I can tell because the clamp piece right here actually broke on, on the Boya, which is what is attached to me right now with a different clamp piece because the previous one broke. Uh, it's got basically a little plastic piece that attaches it to the mic and that's what broke on the other one. And it looks like we have another headphone piece. So that's kind of interesting that you get two separate earpieces. All right, well, what I'm going to do now is plug it in and let's see how it sounds. Okay, now I've swapped over. I am using the Movo now. Uh, I've removed the Boya wireless that I had. Both of them were plugged into my Zoom H4n. I wasn't going directly into the camera with them. The zoom course is going to be set at the same level. One thing I noticed right away with this is the volume options. So you can adjust the volume and I think I just turned it down, turning it back up. You can adjust the volume on it, but you have no readout in order to tell you how much you've adjusted it by. So you're going to have to go by the ear, uh, which means you're going to need somebody on the other end. I'm all alone in the studio today, so I'm basically doing this one by myself. One other thing is you don't have an option of selecting different channels with this, which could cause some noise, some static picking up if you've got multiple wireless microphones transmitting in the room. Hopefully the other mic the receivers or transmitters that you're using do have the ability to change channels so you can mess with it in order to try to get them so they're not picking up on each other. Uh, that's an item that I've noticed. And once again, you get what you pay for, I guess. So this is cheap, although it is kind of weird how big of a difference it is in price between US and UK prices. Like I said, US, $109.95 for this versus $159.99 for the Boya, which is what I was using. So you're saving $50 to go to this one. Is it worth it? We'll find out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it for a few weeks. We're gonna shoot a few episodes of the show and come back after then and give you my summary versus just going using it really quickly here at the studio and coming back and giving you a summary 
with my opinion of it. So we'll see you in a few weeks when I have some feedback on some real world usage. End up back. I have to actually say the Movo worked better than I thought it would. Um, we used it for a interview, which I'm gonna cut to here really quick. You see something assembled on screen that, you know, you put, I, I, you know, there's loads of people I didn't meet either, you know? So, um, into it because mm -hmm. you don't want to you don't you don't want to misrepresent something. So it was important for us to you know. Now, if you noticed in that interview, we couldn't really tell who was using which microphone, uh, the Movo or a different one. Yes, we had both of them plugged into a Zoom recorder, so our sound person was able to adjust the levels. But beyond that, there wasn't static or anything like that, that, which is what I was expecting, especially since you can't change the channel on the microphone. Overall, I'd say for the price, it is a very inexpensive wireless lapel mic. If you don't have the money for something better, get it. I would still be concerned about if you had multiples of these with the signals getting crossed. So I would say if you're gonna use more than one lapel mic at a time, don't go with this, go with something that you can actually change the channels on. Other than that, if I were to give it a like out of five star review, probably three, they're definitely not the best. I definitely personally won't be buying another one, but on a budget, no other options, it's worth it. Works better than I thought it would. I am still concerned over the long term how well the build quality is going to hold out, but you're getting what you pay for. And in this case, I think the value for what you get is there for this product. So there you go. Three out of five stars.